Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned until the end of this video because I will be giving one of these away. One of you guys will be winning the all new Beats Fit Pros. Stay tuned. What is that? What is that supposed to be? These literally just came into the studio today and I was like, let me get this review out of the way because I have been looking forward to these for quite a while. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Beats Fit Pros. We're gonna be looking at the fit, the sound, the ANC, and a few other features that Beats has brought to the table with their all new Fit Pros. And before I get started, please do like and subscribe. It really helps out a growing channel like mine. I appreciate it. On to the review. Now, a few weeks ago, I on this channel, I did a review of the Beats Buds, and honestly, they were pretty bad. The sound was good, but the fit was kind of trashy. Um, the noise, active noise cancellation, and the transparency modes were just gimmicks that barely worked. So we're gonna see if these change that, if they're actually a proper upgrade over the Beats Buds. And not only that, these are Beats response to Apple's AirPod Pros. So they have a lot of ground to make up. These of course have active noise cancellation. They're also bringing in the spatial audio from the AirPod lineup. So there's a lot going here um, and we're gonna be testing out all of that, including the transparency mode. Enough said, let's get on to the unboxing today, or I'm just I'm just gonna start with the white. Yes, I'm gonna start unboxing these. Um, of course, the Apple strippers, always gotta love it. Strippers are tight today. There we go. So I've got the strips out of the way. Oh, a nice little slide. So, ooh, okay, I already like this kind of unboxing. What is my hair catcher doing here? Oh my god, I apologize. Anyways, that is okay. I like this unboxing. This is quite nice. This is very pea size. This is like tiny. Go ahead and open up the little pebble. And there oh there's some spring action there, as you can see. It doesn't there's like that resistance. And then it's magnet. So it's a magnet close and then it just flips out. Okay, alright, not bad. Once again, magnets in there too. It fits really snugly into that case. But this is what everyone's talking about. This little conch thing is. I did was not too kind, but I'm a nice guy. Everyone wanted to talk about is uh, is this too hard? Is this too soft? Because it is kind of a new design you haven't seen before. Now, generally with the Beats signature, like you know, active earbuds, they usually wrap around your ear. Uh, but this one is actually going to be wrapping inside your ear behind the conch. So I'm going to go ahead and. Test it out, but before 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 I even get into all that, let's finish up this unboxing. See what else we got to pair these buds in case. Keep earbuds in case. Open with lid, obviously. Um, so this comes out now. Oh, a few good things in here. It's uh, USB-C to USB-C. Thank God. Uh, we got a few more manuals. You actually finally get the beat sticker. I think this came back. The last ones didn't have it. Um, put that out. And then you get extra earbuds and ear tips in there. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to quickly now unbox the black ones as well. Flips out just like that. Flip it open. Oh, we got the black pebble. And these have the nice black ones in there. So this is quite nice. Um, honestly, though, between these two. Oh, the case is so slippery, it's hard to open. I like the white ones. But yeah, these cases are very slippery, I'm not gonna lie. They're actually quite, quite big as well. After getting used to the AirPod third gens, these ones, like, they'll fit, you know, they'll, they'll disappear, but it is quite thick still. Of course, you get the same accessories with this as well, the booklet, the USB-C, and the ear, extra ear tips. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Put it off all to the side. One thing I am noticing about these is that there's no wireless charging which is a pretty big downer, you know. The, the the AirPods now have MagSafe, so wireless charging, but these ones don't. So it's not a deal breaker, but once you start getting used to wireless charging, it's kind of, it kind of does become a big deal if you can't do it anymore. You just put it down as they start charging. Um, so just something to keep in mind. This little silicon piece, now it is quite soft. Like look at how it bends, it's very soft. But um, this silicon tip actually goes be behind the conch area in your ear, so like right in there, and that 
a lot of people have the concern, is that comfortable? Is that gonna remain comfortable for longer periods of time? And I have to say, it will. So as you can see, now I can't hear myself. Well, I can because uh, transparency mode is on. That was plus pause. And now, now it's active noise cancellation. Wow, the noise cancellation is already better than the last gen. I've got to say, that's a much better um, active noise cancellation than before. Let's get pretty tight, and it's a very snug fit. There is a yeah, it's a very very snug fit. And right now, I believe active noise cancellation is on. And now, okay, now it's off. So. One thing right off the bat with the transparency mode, um, it's kind of gimmicky one more time. The uh, transparency mode on the AirPods uh, sounds a lot better uh, because you hear a much more truer voice. Right now, I sound like a robot to myself. I can still hear myself clearly, but I sound like a robot. We're obviously gonna test outside noise later. The uh, active noise cancellation mode though is pretty solid. So it does block out a lot of noise. I can tell right off the bat. There's no muffled wind noise either. It's pretty solid. So ANC mode, transparency mode is a little bit mediocre, but the ANC mode, solid. I wanted to test this multiple times. Just putting it in my ear. Ooh, ooh. Tado by Navajo. Ooh, 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 these get very loud. Ooh, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. So here, okay, so oh, these have the new uh, skin sensor as well. So Apple kind of started releasing these in their AirPods. When you take it out of your ear, it detects that it's not in your ear anymore. If you have an Apple device, it'll start playing on. So it'll basically disconnect from Bluetooth and immediately go back. But I'm gonna let you guys hear what it sounds like if it's still playing. So the sound quality is really good. The bass is proper, there's proper, if you're a bass head, you're not gonna be disappointed. There's proper bass in here. The sound quality is crisp on the low end. Uh, it, it's heavy bass hitting, so it, it is very good. Sound quality, perfect. Uh, the fit is also very snug, it's very tight. I'm not worried about these falling out. Now, they're not as comfortable as the AirPod 3rd gens, but having said that, the AirPod 3rd gens, if I went on a run or played basketball, those would fall out easily. These, no chance of falling out. Plus, the footprint is so tiny, it's not like those around the ear ones that had to go all the way around. Uh, these are like inside the ear, and they still offer you the same snug and tight fit that's still comfortable as those bigger ones do. So honestly, app Beats, Beats has it down this time. They know exactly who they're marketing to. This isn't the person who's at a cafe. This is the person who's going actively on a hiking trip, on a run, playing basketball, whatever it might be, and they're being very active. And so the tight fit, but still having that comfort, the great sound quality, it really, really makes for an amazing pair of earbuds. Bad thing that I found so far about these. So, so the only bad thing, well, two of them. First of all, this pebble is pretty big, okay? Now, it does offer you quite a bit for that. These get six hours of battery with ANC mode on, plus an additional 18 hours that comes out of this case. So in total, after one full charge, you're getting about 24 hours of play, which is pretty good. But um, these are pretty, this is a pretty big case compared to all the recent ones that I've had come through this table. But the biggest disappointment is that there's no wireless charging. Again, like I mentioned, if you don't wirelessly charge your uh, Air AirPods or your current uh, device, then it won't matter. But if you get used to wireless charging, then it, it's something like, you know, you, you want it and the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging, even though it's USB-C, the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging is kind of a letdown. Now, as far as on-device controls are concerned, you're basically able to do everything you need by pressing this B button right here. Uh, one press, you're able to play, pause, skip forward, backward, and if you hold it, you can turn ANC on and you can turn it off. So it's really easy controls right here and it's a very easy click as well. You feel that haptic feedback, so it's nice to have. Now obviously, everyone was waiting for this moment. Uh, wow, there's a ring now. I promise I cleaned the water. We, we might as well, right? We might as well. People hate 
me for this, but hey, I do it for you guys. These are rated IPX4. That means they're water resistant and sweat resistant. They're not supposed to be drowned in water, so please don't do this with your earbuds. But we're gonna see if they can be drowned in water. Um, don't worry, I won't do it with the ones I'm giving away. Uh, but for my my own sake and for the video's sake, let's go ahead and you know test it out. Let's there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh, so they fell right to the bottom. They fell all the way down. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very, very sad sight in the studio today, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's go ahead and see if we can play some music or what happens. So yeah, they're working. Now let me take them out. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to get electrified. Ladies and gentlemen, the water test. I mean, what more could you ask for? Come on. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and test. So, they work underwater. I, I don't recommend it. Wow. Yeah. Both of them are working still. So, I mean, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to go diving with these, but it'll work, you know, if you fall into a water, if you fall into a pool, you're fine. These will drown, they won't float, you know, so they will drown to the bottom if you accidentally, if they accidentally fall out, but uh, if you can keep them in, you're perfectly fine. So just for that extreme case, they're working. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this review. I don't want to take up more of your time. What do I think? Well, listen. If you're gonna be looking at these, you're also looking at the AirPods, unless you're not. Uh, <laughs> um, basically, with these ones, you're getting a much tighter fit, and that, it's not uncomfortable. It's a tighter fit, but it's not an uncomfortable fit. Keep that in mind. Uh, they've done this very well. Usually, buds like these don't fit well in my ear. I like the earphones. Those fit the most comfortable, and they are the most comfortable. But I know for a fact, if I go out for a run, AirPods and earbuds like those ones are just gonna fall out. And so these ones, I am like certain, with this whole like soft silicon tip, these aren't falling out, fam. These are gonna stay in my ear the entire time. Now, how about extended sessions of use keeping this in your ear the whole day? Very tiny. Uh, will your ear, will your uh, wingtip or your conch get sore? Well, it might. Um, it, it might, but it very unlikely is what I'll say. It's very unlikely that your ear is gonna get sore. It might get sore for those with sensitive ears, but it's very unlikely. Uh, Beats has said that they've designed this for literally every single ear, uh, which is probably not exactly true. I'm sure there's ears that can't really use these, but it works in my ear and I have some of the weirdest ears on the planet. Um, so I would recommend that as far as fit is concerned, um, solid eight out of 10. The sound is great. The bass hits really hard. The sound, and because of the spatial audio, because of all these enhancements, I have to give it a solid nine out of 10. They're not blowing me out of the water, uh, but it is, well, ha, pun intended. But it is pretty good sound. Again, the bass is hard and hitting. Um, the high end is very, very crisp. So I do recommend these if you're gonna look into sound as well. And finally, for additional features, as far as the ANC is concerned, it works very well, not like the previous gen. So they really have you know, caught up uh, with the AirPod Pros. I really think these are a really good competitor for the AirPod Pros. Um, and my personal, choice between these and the AirPod Pros would be these because these fit much better than the AirPod Pros at least for me. They have all the other features and see spatial audio but they fit so much better than the AirPod Pros so I would choose these over the AirPod Pros. The only thing that these don't have which I wish they did was the magnetic or uh, wireless charging. They don't have wireless charging but honestly with all the things that they're able to do so so well it's it's okay and plus it's USB-C so it's not not like a 
a big deal. I have USB-C's all over the place. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this review, please do like and subscribe to this video and it's gonna help you out as well because one of you guys can win this black pair of Beats Fit Pros. All you need to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, comment down below about what you're gonna be doing while you wear these and make sure to follow my Instagram page at Chilled Fossil and that's all you need to do. The winner is going to be decided on Thanksgiving so make sure you join, make sure you get in and a chance to win. I don't have a lot of followers yet. Uh, it's still a small and a growing channel so it really helps me out and that means you have a big ch bigger chance of winning. Uh, so make sure to follow and subscribe and I'm going to be announcing the winner on my Instagram story on Thanksgiving Day so make sure to stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end for me from today. Well, uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.